episode of season four here. I came to this awesome little overlook spot of some hot springs with the Sierras in the background. It was a truly a uh, little concerning because this morning there were so many clouds, didn't really get much light, and then kind of after the sun rose, clouds broke. We still have this golden ash, just sort of nice, soft, natural lighting back here that I've been enjoying. But uh, yeah, wanted to do a little sunrise mission, but it's early, man. It's like 4.30, that alarm goes off now. It's like, it's a... Uh, Long day, but exciting. Stoked they checked this place out. We're gonna ski a little bit today. I think we're gonna sunrise mission, ski, hot spring. So long day ahead of us, but uh, should be a good one. Oh yeah, my mic, my camera is broken. So the mic port doesn't give power to the mic. So I'm not using a mic anymore for the remainder of this trip, I think. So apologies if the audio sucks, but I really don't have any other options. So that's the way it's gonna be until I get into the camera. Let me down. Easy now, cause you know. did change it up a little bit. I was low on sausage, so I went with some Canadian bacon. Still got the potatoes, the eggs. This has been my go-to. It's kept me full throughout the whole day, but I gotta mix up the meat like every few days. Sausage, bacon, Canadian bacon, I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. It is definitely a lot more cloudy today than sunny, and these black lenses are just not even gonna come close to working. We got clears, we don't really want clears. We have yellows, which could work, but in the sun, they're not gonna be, you know, ideal. I have like ice blues, which this is another dark lens, so I don't really want these. I think I'm gonna have to go with the rose. This is kind of like a versatile all-in-one lens, in my opinion. So this one will be good in the cloudy stuff, but then also pretty good when it's sunny. So I do like these blackout ones. They definitely look the sickest in my opinion. that aren't just like straight up bluebird. So we're gonna have to see how the snow fares. Is it gonna be icy? Is it gonna be slushy? For, I don't know, but it looks pretty cloudy. It might actually end up being the best day so far. So we're in this one together, let's do it. All right, first run of the day here. I forgot to turn my tracker on.
dialing the intensity back just like a click or two today. Just I think more or less because of conditions, it's a little bit flatter light. But I guess on a day like this, where kind of like we've skied really all there is to ski and like, can we work on something? And I've noticed I definitely have a strong side turn. My left side, I just don't feel like I have the same edge power that I have. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more conscious of that. Whatever that means. But. <laughs> There's honestly such crazy cloud movement today. Definitely be a day for some time lapses. Let's take out the R6 here with the annoying but vital Joby Gorilla Pod. Let's set this guy up Maybe on this rock here so we can shoot through the fence. down and forward. Like if you want to make skiing intense for no reason, ski bumps. If you want to make skiing harder than it already is, just ski bumps.
day especially those final few laps up on chair 23 that was the definition of hero snow so much grip like just so easy to ski it's kind of like there really is no speed limit it's however fast you're comfortable with but uh i even ended it by talking to a local here of like 30 something years and he gave me all this information on the mountain how to work it on a pow day like it was a wealth of knowledge so it's great meeting you thanks for sharing but uh, it is Wednesday, which means live stream, so we gotta go find a spot to get set up and get the stream going. Let me down, easy now, cause you know I've been at your back and I follow you wherever you go. I'm at your back and call. Managed to find a nice spot out here, one of the hot springs. Um, figured to come out here early, um, see if I could find a camp spot, and then also um, be right here to soak in the springs either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, so there are so many hot springs out here, but I don't know why they just stress me out. Like there's just there's so many people in the hot springs, and this the tubs are like you know enough for four to six people, and it's just like no matter what time I come to these. Or what spring I go to, there just always seems to be a ton of people. So, but anyways, about to go live on the YouTube. Got Starlink up and going, so I guess it is showtime. Let me now, easy now, cause you know I've been at your back and I follow you. Where the hot spring was a success. That was one of the hottest hot springs I've ever been in. Almost too hot. And I shared it with two other uh, two other dudes. Beautiful sunset, but we ended up getting eating alive there towards the end. So I'm gonna plan to go back there for sunrise. I think it's gonna be incredible. So awesome little hot spring, probably big enough for about six people. Oh, I tracked in so much mud. Yikes! But felt really good. So now it's dinner time. Some ground uh, bison, rice, asparagus, mushrooms. That's the deal for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed another day of adventure here in Mammoth Lakes, California. This place is just crazy. So much fun. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. Let me now.